For the past 60 years, Catholics have left the faith in droves, in numbers unlike anything seen previously. And while the church is not shrinking in a strict technical sense, parishes are much emptier now than they ever have been before. This has been exacerbated by the events of 2020, when our bishops decided that the sacraments were simply not essential in the lives of Catholics, nor was the Mass. In some dioceses, this happened for more than a year. As a consequence of that faithless action by our alleged bishops, many Catholics walked away, with Mass and the use of the sacraments down well below their 2019 levels. Things are pretty bad in most places, but there's no place quite like Germany for understanding the apostasy in the church. The news out of Germany is, frankly, staggering, and it's a hint of things to come for the church more broadly with the synod on synodality. Because Germany broke records for apostasy while pushing for the synodal way, and I don't think that's a coincidence in the slightest. Now, this coming weekend, I have a sermon on Saturday given by Archbishop Lefebvre back in 1976 at the ordination of priests in Köln, Switzerland. Now, in that homily, Archbishop Lefebvre notes that since Vatican II, three million had left the faith in Germany. Three million in just 11 years. The news I have for you today is showing that this is still a problem in the church today at about the same rate. It's in a problem, though, that has come generally in waves, but in Germany we now have news that this apostasy in the church appears to be accelerating, thanks at least in part to the heretical and schismatic German synodal way, and the broader synod on synodality, which has sown discord in the church by promoting secular ideas and trying to change the faith to embrace secular morality only to have Vatican authorities say they can't go quite as far as the laity want, which of course then alienates some of the laity who have been terribly catechized, which leads many of them to then leave. Now this is a huge story that needs some develop deep investigation, so let's get into it. But first, I do want to thank my patrons and channel members of Return to Tradition for their support. Their ongoing support keeps these messages coming, so I thank you for that. Well, for like a dollar a month, they do their part to help. So if you want to join them in the description box below are links to Subscribestar, the Patreon alternative that respects speech, as well as Patreon and if there's a join button below. Supporters get early access to weekend videos, plus the uh, extra things I do often on other people's shows and the occasional article that I write. So check it all out. Now to the story of the day. We have an unbelievable level of apostasy that they have reached in Germany. Now, we know that despite all the blather from talking heads in the hierarchy who tell us that there are now more Catholics than ever, the reality that we see are parishes that are often suspiciously empty. In fact, so empty that they start merging parishes. This is, of course, more of a problem for the Novus Ordo wing of the church, but in reality, it is a problem for everyone. There is no salvation outside the church. Souls are lost when people leave the faith. That should be a constant reminder for us as we talk about these, these statistics here which is why also alarm bells should be raised. So headline from the Associated Press. More than half a million left Germany's Catholic Church last year as Ted McCarrick problems swirl. Now that headline makes it sound like there's a plethora of new cases of Ted McCarrick problems in the church in Germany. And that's not really what's happening, in fact not at all, but don't be surprised that the secular media is distorting the truth. What's going on is that the German Synodal Way is pushing heresy on the church, including embracing the James Martin sin and the ordination of women to the sacramental priesthood. And they're doing that using the Ted McCarrick problems of the past to do it. In fact, they keep dredging up those problems and opening up those social wounds and reminding everyone of them. And the consequence is, at the very least, the media making hay with it. Because remember, secular media are not friends of Catholics. And at, of course, the very worst, they are reminding people of past sins and crimes and deciding to simply walk away from the faith, all in the name of the program of a handful of bishops and priests trying to secularize the faith with the help of the most radical and worst catechized generation in the history of the church. But there is an essential point of the article, and one made in many articles. We'll go with the one from the AP for this. Quote, More than half a million people formally left the Catholic Church in Germany last year, significantly higher than the previous record as the church wrestles with a long-running scandal over Ted McCarrick problems by clergy and with calls for far-reaching reform. The German Bishops Conference said Wednesday that 522,821 people left the church last year, up from 359,338 in 2021, the previous record. That compared with just 1,447 people joining the Catholic Church in Germany, around the same as the previous year. 
the departures left the numbers of Catholic Church members in Germany at nearly 20.94 million, just under a quarter of the population. End quote. Now, the article goes on to mention the German Synodal Way and how the German bishops are pushing for blessings of James Martin pairings, and yet it never mentions how those issues are linked. And they don't do that because they can't. They can't tell you that most of the priests who were spiritual kinsmen of Ted McCarrick had James Martin inclinations. I gotta go do is look at each case by case, by case and you'll see that pretty clear. And they can't tell you that much of the German hierarchy, indeed the hierarchy across the West, are cut from the same cloth as James Martin. They absolutely cannot tell you that by bringing more men like that to the priesthood, you are guaranteed to have another round of stories come out like they did 20 years ago with another wave of people leaving the faith. And they cannot tell you that the only cure for this problem is for Catholic morality to be taught by the church again and enforced within her clergy and her public lay figures. They can't say those things and they won't say them. So instead, you get a nonsensical article that tells you that a lot of Catholics left before pivoting to liberalization attempts by a group of radicals within the church. In the reporting of this story, what was also left out was a surprising response from one of Francis's most high-profile allies in Germany, a cardinal that, when he tried to resign over his own role in sweeping these kinds of problems under the rug, Francis flat-out refused to accept his resignation. And that cardinal is Cardinal Reinhard Marx, who over the weekend issued a statement about the cause of this apostasy from the faith, and it honestly surprised me. He blames boring, banal liturgy that looks fabricated for the apostasy. And you know what? On the larger scale, the grand scheme of things, I kind of agree with him. Given the role the liturgy plays as the embodiment of everything we believe, it's just odd to see a modernist make that connection. Usually it's only from traditionalists that we hear such things. Now that story comes from CathCon, a Catholic news blog, and the statement is short. Quote, I ask myself, what can I do? What is our task? More people than ever have turned their backs on the Catholic churches. Some see it as a danger to society. Cardinal Reinhard Marx is now shocked and also a little at a loss. More than half a million people left the Catholic Church last year, a new negative record that the German Bishops' Conference made public on Wednesday. A statement by the Archbishop of Munich and Friesing, Cardinal Reinhard Marx, now shows how much these numbers hurt the church and apparently also left them a bit perplexed. I am deeply moved by this week's news, Marx said at a service in which he ordained three priests. That's a terrible number of new priests, by the way. Anyway, even in Bavaria, which is largely Catholic, there were more than 153,000 resignations. I ask myself, what can I do? What is my task? What is our task, our joint work? Marx went on to say that there are no easy answers, but tasks. He is very worried if church services are perceived as weak and boring. He clarified, liturgy is not made, fabricated, it is celebrated. Now, at the latest, it must be clear to everyone that it's getting down to business. It's an important task for all those who have been baptized and confirmed to answer the question in a convincing manner. Why am I a Christian? And what does that mean? According to Marx, the church must show what that means. He assumes that the shape of the church will change, but the core will remain that we are seekers of God. End quote. You know, that statement sounds like more like something Cardinal Robert Seurat would have said, not Cardinal Marx. And he's not exactly wrong. He, he never, of course, never goes as far as he needs to go to address the problem. The problem is the entire order of things in the post-conciliar church. The problem is catechesis. The problem is faithlessness among the clergy. The problem is a materialism from the most radical portion of the hierarchy who preach against materialism in the most tone-deaf way conceivable. The problem is faithlessness, and the remedy is to scrap the incoherent project of the modernists that they've had running since Vatican II and go back to what was taught before and how we worshipped before. And the church will have to do those things at some point. Now, as Cardinal Marx hints at it, we just don't know what the church will look like when that happens. And frankly, we don't know when that will happen either. But as our Lord tells us in the Gospels, will he find faith at all on earth when he comes back? An interesting article now from the National Catholic Register on the situation in Germany links the apostasy to the German Sonata Way as one of its actual causes, pointing to the German church tax, which is an obligatory tax law 
on the faithful that the German government then gives the money collected through it to the various whatever religion the taxpayer is a registered member of. Essentially, the state acts as the tithing agent for the church in Germany. The register article just comes out and says it, that many Catholics are leaving the faith in Germany because the German Synodal Way is a radicalization program that many Catholics simply don't want to pay for. They have moral objections to it, and so they won't pay for it. Many Catholics don't actually support the program of the German bishops and their desire for the church to accept sins that scripture clearly condemns and practices only really found among Protestants that have no link to historic Christianity, like the open, opening up of ordination, essentially, to anybody who wants the uh, sacrament. But the article never asks a basic question. Are these Germans leaving the faith, or are they leaving the Novus Ordo in a legal sense for independent priests or priests and masses offered by the Society of St. Pius X? The SSPX has a fairly decent-sized presence in Germany, and to my knowledge, they don't receive the German church tax. Now, the SSPX is an article from a year ago tying apostasy in the German church to the church tax in the German synodal way. This has been an ongoing problem for a long time, with the rate of apostasy accelerating in light of the German synodal way. And that can't pa possibly be lost on German bishops, so you have to ask if they're willing to take notice of that and to back off. And the answer is, of course, no, of course not, because their goals must be achieved at all costs, including a cost in souls. So I'm curious what you think about this. Uh, do you think what we see happening in Germany is going to happen on a large scale everywhere once the synod on synodality wraps up? Do you think people walking away from the typical parish will accelerate once Francis's synod is done in a year? Is this all coming to a church near you, or is this a uniquely German problem because of the German church tax? Which, as there's some evidence to suggest, is a key part of it. I'm curious what you want to, what you think about this. Let me know in the comments, please. And like and subscribe if you haven't. It does help. So to share this on social media, that helps too. As always, pray for the church. I'm Anthony Stein. Ave Maria.